Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, nine uh, identical uh, blue circles put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, all these uh, circles are tangent to each other. And furthermore, uh, this uh, AB length uh, is uh, eight uh, units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region, this area, this area, this area, and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here is our action plan. We are going to calculate the radius of uh, each of these uh, blue circles. And the only information that has been given to us is that uh, this uh, AB length is uh, eight uh, units and here's our next step i have constructed uh, a right uh, triangle uh, acb as you can see in this uh, diagram by connecting uh, these uh, centers uh, a b and uh, c of these uh, blue circles and now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, acb and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, acb is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, AC equal to this side length uh, BC. Let me go ahead and call this uh, side length uh, X. Then this uh, side length is going to be X uh, as well. And we also know that this uh, AB length is 8. Now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side a and this side uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, x and uh, b is uh, x uh, as well. So let me write down uh, x square plus uh, x square equal to c in our case is 8 so it's become 8 uh, square now let's go ahead and simplify on the left hand side we got uh, 2x square equal to 64 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this and this is gone so therefore x square value turns out to be 32 let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so the left hand side this square and square root they undo each other so we got x uh, equals to and now let's focus on this uh, right hand side uh, square root of 32 i have copied it down and if we break it down uh, we can see that this could be written as square root of 16 times the square root of uh, 2 and uh, square root of 16 is uh, 4 so therefore uh, square root of 32 has been simplified to 4 times the uh, square root of 2 so I'm gonna just put it over here 4 times the uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, AC and this uh, side length uh, BC turn out to be 4 times the uh, square root of 2 over here and likewise uh, 4 times square root of 2 over here as well and here's our next step let's uh, make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, is the radius of this uh, blue circle let me go ahead and represent this uh, radius by lowercase r. Then uh, this uh, is going to be the diameter that is going to be 2 times uh, r. And likewise, uh, this is going to be radius r as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, total uh, length uh, bc is going to be r plus 2r plus r is going to make uh, 4 times radius uh, R. So in other words, uh, this uh, 4 times radius R is going to be equal to 4 times uh, square root of 2. Therefore, I can write uh, 4 times radius R equal to 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4. This 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore, our radius uh, R turns out to be square root of uh, 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of uh, each of these uh, blue circles. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equal to pi r square where r is the radius of the blue circle. And in our case, is our radius is uh, square root of uh, 2. 
So therefore the blue circle area is going to become uh, pi times uh, our uh, radius is uh, square root of uh, 2 whole uh, square. So that is going to give us uh, 2 pi. So thus the area of each of these uh, circles uh, turns out to be 2 pi. And here's our next step. I have uh, drawn this uh, square AC BD as you can see in this uh, diagram by connecting uh, these uh, centers a c b and uh, d and we know that our the side length uh, a c and uh, b c is uh, four times the square root of two since we are dealing with this uh, square so all uh, these uh, sides are going to have uh, same uh, length and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of uh, this uh, square a c b d and now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s uh, represents the side length uh, of the square. And in our case, uh, our side length is 4 times square root of 2. So therefore, the area of this uh, square ACBD is going to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square. And if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 32. So thus the area of this square ACBD turns out to be 32. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded area is equal to the area of this uh, square ACBD minus uh, the blue area inside this square ACBD. And now we can see we already calculated this uh, square ACBD area and now we are going to calculate this uh, blue area inside this uh, square. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue region uh, inside uh, this uh, square ACBD and let's make an observation we see that this is our quarter circle this is our quarter circle this is our quarter circle and this is quarter circle as well if we add them we are going to get uh, one uh, circle area and now let's focus on this uh, half circle semicircle this one this one this one four of them so that means that is going to be equal to two full uh, circles and finally this uh, circle so i'm going to add this thing so this all is going to be equal to four uh, circle area so therefore this uh, blue area inside this uh, square acbd is going to be four times uh, the area of the blue circle and we know that uh, this uh, blue circle area for each uh, is uh, two pi so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this one over here by two pi so therefore this is going to become 4 times 2 pi that means it's going to be equal to 8 pi and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, yellow shaded area by just uh, plugging in this uh, square ACBD area which is uh, 32 so I'm going to replace this one by 32 minus uh, this uh, blue area inside this uh, square which is uh, 8 uh, pi so i'm going to replace this one by 8 uh, pi so therefore our this uh, yellow shaded area turns out to be 32 minus uh, 8 uh, pi so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 32 minus 8 pi square units and that is approximately equal to 6.87 uh, square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.